Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. For those who have been following me for a while, long time no see. I've definitely been away for a while, but I'm excited to be vlogging again. I'm vlogging um, my current trip. Right now I'm sitting in Miami, Florida. Um, we are getting packed up and ready to get on our cruise ship. Um, we are doing a seven day cruise with Royal Caribbean on the Symphony of the Seas. If you don't know, the Symphony of the Seas is the second largest ship in the world at the moment. Um, so that's really exciting. And yeah, I want to do like a little flashback. Um, because I think the last time that I vlogged a travel vlog at least was in 2019. Yeah, 2019. So in 2019, um, me and Vince, who was my boyfriend at the time, went to Costa Rica. Um, since then, we experienced a global pandemic. Um, me and Vince purchased a house together. Um, we got a dog. And then we did a couple of small trips um, here and there. Um, I've been on two other cruises since then, both short cruises, but this is gonna be the longest cruise I've been on. Um, and I got engaged in Vegas. So, so exciting. So many things have happened. So now me and Vince are engaged. Um, we are getting married in November of 2023, so we're less than a year away. And kind of a really cool callback is we are getting engaged in Costa Rica, the place we went in 2019 before the pandemic. So, exciting, exciting. Uh, leave a comment below if you want more details about wedding because this video is going to be all about cruising um, and if you've never cruised before I'm going to try to give you guys the deeds. So our itinerary is um, I'm going to be on the ship for seven days. We have three ports of call. One is St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. The second is San Martin which is um, also in the Caribbean and San Martin has uh, two sides, a Dutch side and a French side. So we get docked on the Dutch side, but we're gonna try to explore the French side too. And the third is Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas. So yeah, we're excited for this itinerary. So like I said, right now I'm sitting in my hotel room in Miami. I actually really like this hotel. I've stayed here before. Um, it's called Poly House. It's a boutique hotel. It has resort fees, so it's kind of resort-ish in the sense that you do get access to the private side of Miami Beach in Miami. So we are on the Miami Beach Strip. We are um, central Miami Beach, which means we're north of South Beach. So we are in an area that's kind of quiet. We don't get all the hustle and bustle that South Beach does without the partying, but we're close enough to it where if we could engage if we wanted to. Anyway, so yeah, that's where we are. Um, I might try to show you a little bit of the hotel, maybe, maybe not. We really gotta clean this place up and get packed up so we can go because our check-in time is 10.30 for the cruise. And we got an early check-in time because we are excited um, because today is also the University of Michigan, Ohio State rivalry game. As you all know, I'm from Michigan. Vince is from Ohio. I also work at the University of Michigan, so I've got on my maize and blue today, and we hope to see that game on the cruise ship today. Um, and it starts at noon, so we're gonna try to get to the boat as soon as we can. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave you guys right here, and the next time you see me, I'll either be giving you guys a room tour, or we will be on the cruise ship. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy better. Hi. Good morning. All right now. Enjoy. 
Thank, Thank you. you. So I just need to pull our boarding passes out for this step. We need our... Maybe our passport. Can't remember. Hello! Hello. Yes, we have a bunch of sale pass. Yes. We have yours ready. Uh, Victoria. Good song. Oh, no thank you. So we are on the Symphony of the Seas. Um, a couple minutes ago, they just announced it's one o'clock and our state rooms are ready. So I decided to come down and bring my stuff to my state room. Vince is still watching the rivalry game at Playmakers. So I got my U of M gear on, so I will be back there. But for the moment, I am just gonna give you guys a quick room tour before we like make it all messy. So we chose to do a balcony, an ocean view balcony stateroom, um, and yeah, it's super nice. This is so much nicer than the one we did on the Mariner Seas a couple, um, or last year. So let me show you what we got going on here. So um, this is the entry doorway. On this side, you can see that there is a door here so this is technically a joint or what is it called a combined room or whatever so if i knew the person on the other side then that door would be able to be unlocked and you can go into the other room basically <laughs> that's a weird explanation but that's what that is and here is our restroom um the weird thing is the light is always outside of the restroom. And then we have the shower in our restroom here. We have a pretty good space in this restroom on this ship. This is our kind of sink and vanity area and obviously the toilet. Little trash can, so that is our restroom. It's a good space for a cruise ship. And then continuing through the tour, this is our bed. So it's like a double bed pushed together, which is really nice. And it looks like they got two side tables here with like place for storage. And we have two closet spaces, that's awesome. One on each side of the bed. And as you can see here, there's a safe where you can set a combination and put all of your valuable items in. And there's some drawer space here. So two drawers. And on this wall here, there's a TV for you to watch. Another side table area with the phone. And these are lamps. I don't know exactly how to turn these on. Oh, right here. So that's, well, that's the overhead lamp. Let's see how to turn this on. Oh, there's a button here. So that is the lamp there. And then we have another closet space here. 
This one's a little bit bigger without the sh without the drawers underneath. And then we have a couch here, which is really awesome. It almost looks like a pull-out couch. Oh, there's something that pulls out of here. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes. There is a third bed there. That is awesome. Let's see if I can get it to pull out for real. Can't get it all the way out, but you can see there is a third bed under here. Or if you hadn't, a third guest. And then here's a vanity for me to do makeup or work. Like a desk situation. Some more drawer space. This is awesome. And, oh, it's a refrigerator. So you got a mini fridge. And looks like a bow dryer. Some nose tissue. Or some Kleenex. Room service menu. And just some extra drawer space here. Great. And then last but not least, we have this wonderful balcony that faces the ocean. So when you're booking a balcony on a mega ship, what you need to know is that they have interior and exterior balconies. So make sure if you want one where you can see the ocean out of it, make sure you book an ocean view balcony. And there's some curtains to close out too so that the light's not there all night. So I'm unlocking here. Maybe I'm unlucky. Oh, that's luck. How do we get out of here? Oh, we have to slide it, maybe? Nope. All right, pause for a second. All right, I got the door open, guys. So now we are on our balcony here. We're still in Miami, as you can see. The beautiful city of Miami in the background. Miami is so beautiful. I love it here. And there's only on my patio on that side. So yeah. Very exciting. Fleet's boat. There's some more of Miami. And our balcony has two chairs and a table. So yeah. So let me get in some better lighting here. So that concludes my room tour for you all. I am so excited for the seven day cruise, especially with this space. This boat is very updated. And so, yeah, I'm excited about that. So I will see you all probably at dinner, which will be the next place that I will film. So I'm gonna go back to the game and I'll see you all later. Hey, welcome back. So we are getting ready to go to our reservation of the night. Let's rewind. So to rewind, we purchased a specialty um, dining package for this cruise and we got the unlimited specialty dining package, meaning that we can eat at Anyway. Any of the re specialty restaurants, which usually cost a fee if you don't purchase a package for any amount of times during this cruise. So when we got on the boat, it was a little hectic because the app wasn't working correctly and we weren't able to make our reservations like we should have, but we were able to find a concierge um, desk who was making reservations for us, so we got reservations. So tonight, we're going to Wonderland, I believe. It was kind of like an experimental cuisine restaurant so we're really excited about that also we went to playmakers barn grill earlier we were watching the of them game our food there was also covered by the specialty dining package so that was great too so i'm excited to show you guys what the food at wonderland is like and i will see you there yeah. all right let's get it awesome look how beautiful the decorations are Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, what's it? Six. Six one six four. Six one six four. Yeah. 
Alright babe, are you excited to eat here at Wonderland? I'm excited. It's Alice in Wonderland themed. Oh look at this kitchen, it's right there. Watch them cook. And the outfits of the wait staff is super nice. Ooh. We got these uh, paint brushes here. And this is the back of the ship so you can kind of see the back side. And that slide was awesome. <laughs> that slide was awesome according to that slide. Look at that staircase. Wonderful. Well, we're really excited. I will show you the food as it comes. Got some magical water to brush the menu. Tell me if that gets. We have some signature cocktails and a list of martinis. Right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Is it being revealed? It's being revealed. Yeah. Love to serve you some ice water. Yes. All right, so here is the imaginative menu. I am between chicken and the egg and the short ribs is a chef recommendation. What are you thinking, Vince? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with what he recommended. The short ribs? The short ribs, yeah. Nice. All right, then I will get the chicken and the I egg. I heard it. You're gonna have short ribs. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you gonna have for you? I'm gonna do the chicken and the egg. Chicken and the egg. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll take care of the rest. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, do you care for any things on the bar? Or... Mm -hmm. If you need to, let me know. Okay. Okay. Come back to you. Thanks. Is that the cocktail menu? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, cocktail menu. Yeah. Yeah. These are the cocktails that are especially for tonight's dinner. Ooh, that sounds good. Down the rabbit hole. Smoke rings. That sounds like something Vince likes. I'm not a huge fan of uh, whiskey. <laughs> you got a Cheshire Cat Cosmo and a white rabbit Rito, that's like a, a margarita with a salt foam, like the show we were watching. Uh, yeah. Ultimate Bar Master. Yeah, they use salt foam, or they use uh, foams. Yeah. Nice. Well, we'll, we'll see. Thank you for the okay. <laughs> What we have on the birches is an eight minute bowl. It is served on oh. a Thai finesse. The bird is missing, but they laid the eggs there, okay? <laughs> it's an eight minute bowl egg, which has, on its kataifi dough, we scoop out the yellow, mixed with the spicy mayo, Dijon mustard, topped with the crispy tempura crumbs with a dot of sriracha. The nest is an edible, it's like an angel hair pasta, which is fried, oh. then powdered with chocolate powder, okay? Yeah. Nice. So what we have here is our crispy wonton crab cones. It's a crab cones made from crab, it'll be okay, eh? Yeah. With olive oil, lime, salt, and pepper on it, very light, with a bit of wasabi at the bottom, topped with an avocado puree. What we have here for you is our Mad Hatter's Purple Potted Shrimp. We're going to enjoy this rub with the katai fido as well. We have a really nice dipping. A dipping is a kind of spicy. It's called a scotch bonnet full of peppers. You know scotch yeah. bonnet? Huh? Mixed with a whipped cream that gives you a light, airy, but kick on it. <laughs> enjoy. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'm going in for the eggs in the basket. <laughs> Take it as a whole. You want all? You want all? Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So it's like a deviled egg. I had that sriracha kick though. Mm -hmm. I'm not a huge fan of deviled eggs, but I appreciate that. And now for the crab cone. with lobster oh. because it's more of a liquid than liquid. <laughs> it is a lobster tail it is poached lobster tail with a beef bone marrow which is rolled inside of it okay oh. infused with milk so it's liquid issues no? served with a lobster bisque and topped with a nice beluga caviar it's a one bite portion we call it a spoon fed i call it a spoon fed so <laughs> Don't do it little by little. Yeah, just okay, one. so it can make burst. Okay. Do it then. One, two, three. See? Well, nice and warm. Mm. Yeah? Vince is going to try a shrimp. I'm not a huge shrimp fan, but I'm doing it for you guys. <laughs> Look, there's something in there. Oh, it's like a um, scotch bonnet dipping sauce instead, so it should be a little spicy. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Like a coconut shrimp, maybe? Not with the coconut flavor, but the texture. It's better. Nice. Baby little spoon. Yeah. Scoop it down. The lime ice cream. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a flavor explosion. <laughs> what does the uh, sorbet taste like? That tastes like a lime. <laughs> you just gotta try it. Okay. It's a uh, certain je ne sais quoi. <laughs> it's so blue. <laughs> it is interesting. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>